How are you doing today, Nicholas? Doing excellent. Good, good, nice to hear. Yes. So, before we start, can you give me a little bit about your background first? Well, uh, by background, you mean like where I live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, I live in Houston, Texas. I was born and raised there. Uh, I'm 15 years old right now. And yeah, I, I have been playing cello for since I was three. And wow. I was taught by my dad at first. Mm -hmm. Right now, I study with Hans Jensen. So, so you grew up in a musical family? Yes, my dad is a cellist in Houston Symphony, but oh, my mother is a non-musician. Oh, I see, I see. So did your dad sort of, you know, push you in, into playing music? Yes, yes. Basically, uh, there was this video I saw, it's lost now, but a few oh. few months ago, I just saw a video of me sleeping. <laughs> and my dad was propping my hands up while I was sleeping, and he was just like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, it's interesting. Yeah, I was sleeping. So did you, uh, when you started, did you like playing the cello? No. No? <laughs> because I was uh, asleep, so I yeah. didn't know what it was like. I see, I see. But you like it a lot now, right? Yes, yes. So uh, I've grown from like a hate relationship when I was mm. like four yeah, yeah. to a love-hate relationship when I was eight or nine. Uh, so now I love playing yeah, cello. I see. So so let's say if you were to give like a percentage or number of hours, like you do musical activities a day, how much would you think that would be? For cello practice, it would be around five or six hours a day. Five or six hours? Wow. Yes, but, uh, but my brain is constantly thinking about like yeah. Uh, not just cello, but like how I can make a difference uh -huh. in, yeah, yeah. in the musical field. So other than cello, do you have any other hobbies or activities you do? Yes, I love playing soccer, uh -huh. I love arranging and composing music, especially oh, like uh, playing arrangements with my uh -huh. friends, my musician friends. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I also love traveling and wow. especially going to those, you know, scenic places to go hiking, yeah, yeah. camping. I yeah, love doing yeah. those, like the wilderness. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Do you enjoy performing for other people? Yes, of course I do. Yeah, yeah. I find like uh, most of the most of the uh, joy I find in music is in performing, performing mm -hmm. for other people, mm -hmm. yeah. not just for the thrill of it, but also really touching, really communicating with yeah, the yeah. audience. Music yes. definitely be really powerful. You know? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you? Or have you ever gotten nervous when you play on stage? I always get nervous. Always get nervous. But uh, I just try to calm myself down, cool mm -hmm. myself down, mm -hmm. and just get myself absorbed into the music. Mm -hmm. Yes. And before you perform, let's say maybe like a week before, a few days before, is there any way you practice to make your performance as possible? Yes. Normally in the normal performance, it's just like last two days or mm -hmm. three days. But yeah. for competitions, it mm -hmm. could be like two weeks before. Yeah. So basically in this time, I practice less. I don't mm -hmm. practice quickly, I practice, so I practice slowly. And uh, yeah, around two to three hours a day two tops, a day. yes, okay, nice. before competitions or concerts. Very nice, all right. And you mentioned it earlier that you, you, know, you, you started from like hate relationship to love and hate, and then now you love it. Yes. Is there something that changed that made you, you know, change your attitude towards music? I would say it's gradual. I mean, like, because when I was little, I didn't understand how deeply touching music could be. Yeah. Because if you're nine years old, you can't really. Yeah. You well, you're can't not really, really quite mature enough. Yeah, 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 you're not mature enough to really absorb all those, like, wonderful mm -hmm. harmonies and colors. Definitely. And everything that makes music so great. I agree, for sure. And you know, music can be really expensive, you know, you have all these resources you need to pay. Yes, yes. And some people don't have access to those resources, you know. So let's say that there are some people who want to, you know, improve and become serious at music, but don't have the necessary, uh, you know, means to get what they need. What tips would you give them to improve? Well, firstly, I would say that this is really not fair. But mm, yes. in, uh, in, many, in many aspects of the world, in many fields, life is just not fair. Yeah. So what they will have to do, I believe, is to just grind through. Yeah. Because some stuff, like, you know, musicality or, you know, uh, really getting that feeling out, 
that requires some degree of you know uh, paying for a good cello, paying for good strings, paying for a good bow, but. Other aspects such as like intonation yeah. or technical uh -huh. stuff, you don't necessarily need all those, yeah. all those uh, like, I would say artisanal equipment. Uh -huh. So if you don't have the the economical or like a social advantage of being able to have a good musical environment. Yeah. I would say focus on those technical stuff. Get them really solid so that yeah. when you're like 18 and independent, or you get enough like uh, opportunities to uh -huh. be able to get something nice for yourself, then you can you, really you can off. you can just take yeah. off and just yeah. really flourish. Yes. And how do you practice? I know your te your technique is amazing, frankly. Thanks. So, is there any way you practice to get you know your fundamentals so so strong? Robust. Oh, I do like a very long set of warm-ups each day. Wow. It's so long. I have to split them into two days Oh, wow, and uh, every day I do 30 minutes of these warm-ups oh. not including scales yeah. and uh, set of chicken donation exercises I see. I see. Yes All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was great having you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you